In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix DS4 windows not detecting controller. So, is if as an example DS4 not detecting your controller, basically how to fix it is very easy. First of all, you'll have to go and check the connection. You can try a different USB cable and port if you have another one. And of course, it's wired if it's wired. If it's not wired, if it's wireless, make sure to hold the PS plus share and basically to enter a pairing mode then pair with the bluetooth settings in your phone or on your pc so go to the bluetooth settings example and keep looking for your controller if it's appeared there or not other than that you can go and restart your ds4 windows controller fully close and reopen of course your ds4 windows also the controller and again just go and run the ds4 like windows as administrator and make sure it's not already running in the background you can check that example from the task manager you can just simply look for it here and see if it's running or not other than that you will have to go and install the required drivers of course you can go to the settings and the drivers example so you can go hit the like windows key and simply just type here drivers and we can go to device manager and simply we'll have to go and look for the vig uh, like in bus driver virtual gamepad emulator if you have it that's good and if you don't you'll have to go and install it as well as it's optional but not very necessary but also the head hide or basically hiding the real controller input so once you download them you'll have to go and restart your pc once you're started it should work if it's still not working make sure to go and disable the steam input so you can go to your Steam and simply go to your Steam here, click on settings and in the settings you'll have to go and look for controller settings and as an example here you'll have to go to the general settings right here and as you can see you'll find the PlayStation control support. So make sure to go and basically disable or uh, disable this option, not enable. Well, as you can see here you should find even the controller if it's detected now or not and the last step that you can do if none of those work you can simply just go and look under human interface devices and device manager again and you can simply look here for and here like for this human interface devices and just right click your controller if you find it it should be in a usb input a device example input especially if you're using a cable just right click on it and click on install once you click on install the device you'll have to go and plug the cable and plug it again and it should work so that's it for me in this video thank you for watching and goodbye